Okay, hello everyone. Now I'm just going to jump into another high rated Soul Cube game right here. We're just in the loading screen right now. Um, and again, we have some fairly well known players. Uh, slightly different selection than last time, although Daydreaming does make a repeat appearance with his famous Blitzcrank, this time with Teleport, seemingly in a solo lane. Which is interesting. Now we see Race Race in top lane actually. I'm most likely going down to a dive here, it does, but uh, I really just tried that kill. Wow, just jumping straight into the action here. Um, in the meantime, I mean, thanks to that, Gantling is going to uh, to push the, the wave up to the turret. Uh, Nocturne, though, is going to come in and... I'm going to try and get on Gangplank here, I think. He's actually recalling really far out and could be in trouble. Uh, he's going to run in and maybe try and suicide here, or although he might just try and go through the turret, thanks to the uh, minions. Nope, I think he... Ah, uh, yeah, there's the flash. He's going to get feared. And Gangplank is going to go down. A uh, bit of a foolish place to recall there. Waste is actually picking up the kill, uh, and does get the raid buff. Not terribly useful for him, I feel. But uh, suddenly that gold, and that's all. He's going to help him out a little. Does have two kills now. Um, Blitzcrank in mid lane actually picking up one kill as well. Uh, so, yeah, we do see AP Blitzcrank here, yeah, I believe. He's not actually running AP runes, so. I will be interested to see how he builds, um, and how he deals with Rise in general. Has managed to get a kill onto him so far, I believe. Uh, the Rocket Grab, unfortunately, missing there. Might have alluded too much. Waste in the top lane with a uh, kill, um, significant kill advantage, well, one kill advantage, rather. Uh, but with a level advantage as well over Aurelia, could potentially be unfortunate for her. While then we have KSU Snipes and LGN Demon Law on uh, Janna and Israel versus JDWU. And Fatal Dragons. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this little word. And uh, and Fatal Dragons on uh, Trist Nunu, which is uh, known to be a terrifying late game comp. Basically, uh, if you can get Tristana to maybe three or four major items, um, probably three, just the Eye Edge, the Phantom Master, and the Last Whisper, and then you give her Blood Boil. She is just going to be scary as hell. Uh, see, Gangplank waiting in top lane, trying to bait in here, but at the same time, there's a bit of aggression going on in the bottom lane. Yeah, Tristana probably going to go down to uh, is a really good Mystic shot. The Ignite does pick up the kill overall. I'm going to swap one to Nunu. Um, West is actually going to go down in the top lane. Janna able to pick up that kill. Flashes out of tower range at the last second. Uh, good play there by, by Israel and Janna. Picking up those two kills. And uh, securing themselves a bit of an advantage in that bot lane. Um, Richard picking up three kills overall and putting himself slightly in the lead now with a uh, 300 gold advantage. We see Blitz can go teleporting down bottom behind Israel. Uh, is going to go for the rocket grab, unfortunately does not land it, and Israel is able to arcan shift over the wall. This current fail flashes, unfortunately, and uh, is forced to just back away after the use of both of his summoner spells. To Israel's none. Uh, Rise going in on middle end a bit here. I think he did spell shield the rune prison there, actually, which is on up, just uh, just an overdrive possibly. He's going to take a bit of damage on his way out. Uh, the Rise Morale does go off, but I don't think they're going to... Well, they're going to go for the dive here, okay. Uh, Rise flashing in. Uh, Gangplank not quite going down. Rise actually living with a tiny amount of HP as well. Vlad coming in, going to try and pick up these kills. Uh, Gangplank actually waiting in that brush, just goes down immediately. And I think, yeah, Vlad going down as well, certainly. Uh, gets an Ignite and an Auto. Picking up two kills comfortably there. That's... Uh, Hmm, that Taldo not turning out too well for them overall, has to be said. Take a look at the, um, well, the AD carry builds here really quick, just because we can. It's really exception to pick up three Durance Blades really quick. Uh, Tristana, instead, though, picking up a, uh, a Vamp Scepter to go with the Durance Blades. Uh, quite a smart purchase, I feel, just because, uh, Ezra has a feather to poke, and Nunu, of course, has no sustain for Tristana. So, uh, that little bit of extra lifestyle is going to be really nice. Um, Putting us up potentially behind, well, I mean, about 20 AD on items behind, uh, so could potentially be an issue. Uh, what's kind of missing a rocket grab there in mid? Has gone for a heart of gold followed by a sapphire crystal. I wouldn't be surprised to see that built into a sheen actually, um, and probably the triforce long term for Blitzcrank there. Uh, Terraria is picking up the blue buff, not actually donating it to Rise, despite it being the 7 minute blue buff, which is uh, just very commonly donated to mid lanes. GG Puzzle. Ooh, actually, the rocket going after Israel. A good I can shift, though, and a gangplank ult means that this follow up is actually going to be devastating here. 
Um, Blitzkrank is running straight into Rise and Gangplank. It's going to go down for sure. And Israel is going to be able to pick up Nunu. Um, Blitzkrank does go down to Rise there, but Nocturne able to jump in and take out Rise. Uh, Trisana flashing away into the brush is just going to go down to Israel. And uh, Nocturne putting himself in a really bad situation right now. This gets slowed. Um, Spell shielding a Mystic Shot there, I believe, but it is slowed by uh, by GP's passive as well. Um, the Pilot going off. GP going to tank quite a few charge shots, but does live, and Israel is able to pick up the kill there. Um, yeah, I mean, Red Team inequivocally coming out ahead there. Uh, Rise going down, but they were able to pick up kills on, I believe, four people. Uh, furthering their lead a little bit there, but still, I mean, 1.7k gold in the lead right now. Not, not an, uh, not impossible to catch up from. Really, putting a hurt onto Vlad in the top lane. Uh, Vlad right now with his ninja tabby and his uh, his revolver is going to be quite strong though, quite capable of sustaining himself back up. Uh, Aurelia, mm, I mean, does does have her components for her wits end. She's not uh, she's not out of this, but out of this lane, I should say. But um, Vlad certainly, I think, in this the much stronger position right now. Aurelia though, with 15 more CS, uh, is going to try and be able to catch up that way. Now we see Blade coming down, just taking the, the rates right now. Denying Gangplank those resources. That's smart play. Uh, I'm interested to see if he does go up and try and stop this red as well. No, Gangplank is able to pick up that red, and Blade coming in for a gank in the mid lane. Uh, the ult going up, trying to prevent uh, Blade going in, but actually the, he flashes and puts on the transfusion and the ignite. Takes a lot of damage from the turret, almost goes down. The ignite goes off, and he is actually going to die to that. Um, a little bit of a messy dive there by uh, by Westress. Tristana caught here is going to actually get altered uh, by Janna. Is able to rocket jump uh, and she gets slowed actually by the Zephyr as well. And Ezreal flashing, Arkin shifting, and picking up the kill with the Mystic Shot. There, wonderful play. We just see Gangplank come um, pushing up this mid lane in Rise's absence. Uh, Wow, actually, Gangplank able to pick up the kill under uh, Blitzcrank, who just stuck around on really low HP for no obvious reason. Um, was baiting for the, uh, the Nocturne ult, but I feel didn't quite uh, think it through there. Both uh, Gangplank and Nocturne getting the rip off slows off each other. If the Dustbringer goes off here, Gangplank surely will die to it, but I'm not even sure. It does go off. Actually, not quite going down, but the, uh, the Umbra Blades do, do happen, and unfortunately, Gangplank does die to that. Um, Rise not quite getting to Rune Prison in time. Did wait for the Spell Shield. Good play. Uh, is going to flash Rune Prison onto him. Plans the Overload and the Spell Flux, I would expect. No, nope. Mystic Shot's going off. And it's just another Overload picking up the kill. Um, 2 for 1 trade overall there for Red Team. Uh, they're going to be pleased with that for sure. Passing the Red Buff onto Rise, which is not amazing, but I mean, you know, every now and then you get all attacks with Rise, and for true damage is uh, not something to complain about. Uh, really has finished picking up her wits in now. I'm going to make him much more confident in trading here. He is able to put that ignite on, getting a lot of damage onto Vlad. Uh, I don't believe he's pulled yet. He does pull the Gangplank gold smartly. Um, she's going to... Not actually going to die. Or, no she is, but she put herself in an opposition there. Um, did take a turret shock, went down to about 170 HP, and actually almost would have gone down there. Blitzcrank coming up to top lane though, I don't know what Aurelia's going to be able to do here. Suddenly with Noctin coming in below her, she needs to try and suicide quickly. Uh, and she is going to try and do that. Very well played there by Aurelia. Um, waiting, waiting as long as she could before anybody turned up. And just, um, yeah, picking up a kill for an execute there. At the same time, actually, we have a kill going in the bot lane. I'm going to rewind that a little bit. A lot of damage going out on Tr Tristana. We see the Trisha Barrage going off as well as the Ignite. John actually flashing for the Zither and the auto attack. Does secure the kill there with another auto. The Absolute Zero is really good by Nunu, but actually the Summon Heal preventing it from really picking up that kill. Uh, the Howling Gale not able to do too much there. Estro does go in, uh, but Gangplank coming in from behind is going to be able to secure this kill for sure. Uh, the Parlay from Gangplank actually picking up that kill overall. Red Team right now with a 4.2. Yeah, 4.2k gold lead um, is quite ahead, and it's going to try and take this dragon right now. Uh, I feel like they're capitalizing very, very well on that. Well, it's just playing very well overall. Uh, they're all over the map, making plays. 
uh, in particular the bot lane, of course, with a huge advantage right now. Gangplank, uh, smiting that nicely. And red team, you know, picks up another thousand gold from that dragon, no prob. Uh, didn't really lose anything for it. Uh, did, so minions were being pushed into top turret, but with Aurelia not being involved, uh, I kind of feel like that wasn't exactly a trade. And the turret didn't go down, so it wasn't a big deal. Really picking up a Ruby Crystal, most likely going forward with the Phage. Uh, we see Westeros West actually picking up a... I don't think he had that Doran's Shield before, but that and an Ampton. Uh, both quite sensible guys. I, I do like the Doran's Shield here. Uh, he's just kind of acknowledging that Aurelia is out-trading him right now. And that he could do with that a little bit of extra sustain, uh, extra max HP, and in particular with the armor, right? To uh, to deal with Aurelia's damage a little bit. Not of course with the true damage, but what can you do? The health helps a little bit with the true damage, though. Aurelia just uh, farming away here. Take a little bit more look at the builds. Uh, we see Ezra picking up his Sheen and has picked up a Ruby Crystal now. Obviously, uh, building towards that Triforce. We'll be picking up a Phage next. Uh, we see Nocturne ulting in on middle lane actually. At the same time, we see a lot of aggression in bot lane actually. Trisana getting away. Rise, uh, yeah, was able to get away. Didn't didn't hit the flash there or anything. The GP ult, very helpful. Um, does get an ignite on Nocturne. It's going to take him out here for sure. Uh, Bloodscrank not really. Oh, the rock grab going off, and the ultimate is good. And Rise does actually die there. Um, good play by, uh, by Blitzcrank, unfortunately. Was forced to, uh, well, wasn't really able to pick up the kill until after Nocturne died. Gangplank going to flash in, pick up, picks up the parlay, and I think he managed to go down to the dot here. It does go down to Gangplank's passive. Um, quite unfortunate for Blitzcrank. Uh, we see Israel and Jana really just putting in a lot of harassment under this turret in bar lane. Uh, oh my god, I'm sorry about that. I will back up again. Um, we see, yeah, I mean, they've been trading a lot on top lane here, both of them at about 20% HP. Um, and we know, I mean, Aurelia's just gonna make a, a big move here. It does dash in, puts the start on the ignite, I mean, the, the E and the ignite. I think it might have a doubt. Uh, Israel missing his true shot barrage, unfortunately, not really enabling him to, uh, to go in for the kills there. But he's still in a very dominant position, um, with enough sustain from his Doran's Blades and uh, a huge amount of damage up. He is able to to poke away at uh, Trisana and Nunu and force Trisana to miss a lot of CS under this turret, I feel. Although, to be fair, Trisana is actually out CSing Israel right now. Uh, Israel is able to take out that turret, now I have to chase on now. Nocturne, though not too far away, doesn't have his ultimate up, uh, and doesn't seem to be coming down until... Uh, yeah, I mean, Israel flashing, uh, gets the Mystic shot off, and is actually able to pick up Nunu there. Trisana, though, able to kill uh, Edward and Jana, and the rocket grab goes off. Wow, uh, Israel going down to the static field from Blitzcrank there with really a really good rocket grab. Nocturne and Blitzcrank turning up just in time to assist and pick up that last kill and keep Tristana alive. Uh, a few more builds we'll look at really quick. Uh, well, we see this little bit of aggression going on. We see uh, Ryze having built his Tia and his Catalyst. Very standard first two items on Ryze. Um, pretty much always those first two items built. Has picked up a, uh, another Sapphire Crystal, presumably going towards this Glacial Shroud uh, and in the long term a Frozen Heart. I'll be interested to see whether he turns his uh, Catalyst into a Rod of Ages or a Banshee's Veil here, because we've seen a bit of variance recently of people going Banshee's Veil. We see Ryze uh, ulting, is able to catch Rosanna here. She does rocket jump away, but could be in a lot of trouble right now. At the same time, we see Nocturne ulting and able to pick up a kill on Nocturne, uh, on a Gangplank, my apologies. And Nocturne actually flashing over the wall uh, to prevent the counter kill. And really, according sort of a bad position here right now. But it's going to try and go on for that, uh... Wow. Going to go for the Nocturne kill. Is able to pick it up. Got a good amount of damage on Westrace as well, but I feel he will go down. True Shot Barrage goes off, not actually hitting anyone. Uh, wow, one auto away from picking up that kill on Westrace. Not quite able to. Uh, Let's crank with a really good static field, uh, and then an auto picking up that kill ability. Does get that double buff, and uh, keeps Westrace alive. Some really good plays here by, by Blitzcrank. Doesn't quite land that rocket grab onto anyone. Uh, I just building towards the Triforce here, as I thought he might. Uh, is actually going in on Israel. Uh, not really able to do too much. Lands a rocket grab onto him. He's gonna get knocked up by the Howling Gale, though, and slowed by that Zephyr. The Mana Shield not doing much for him, and he is gonna go down. Oh, actually, the Jana ult saving in there. 
Jana gonna flash an auto attack, but not quite picking up the kill. The good pull and an Azul is area. Uh, Jana is just gonna go down. Uh, Ezreal landing a really good mystic shot. Is able to pick up that kill on Blitzcrank, which she uh, kind of went back and pointlessly there. The arcane shift and the uh, mystic shot enabling him to pick up the kill on Nunu as well. I think Lad is going to get away safely though. Uh, actually, does get Gangplank getting a good ultimate followed up by the uh, the parlay to pick up the kill there, uh, getting a double kill overall. Israel and Gangplank doing really good work uh, and able to pick up those three kills there, despite that channel looking like it had saved Blitzcrank. Um, at the same time, I think it may have saved Israel, so, you know. Uh, we see Gigi, so running in, uh, able to get the Rune Prison onto, onto uh, Nocturne here, but not really enabling uh, Gangplank to get onto him, unfortunately, thanks to the PF from Nocturne doing a lot of work. Let's take a look at Gangplank build really quick. Has picked up a Hex Drinker, uh, which I'm not... Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it against this team, certainly Vlad dealing a large amount of... Uh, magic damage and plus can a little. We see the rocket grab going up onto Aurelia right now. She is going to try and pick up that kill onto Nocturne. Uh, it, it does look like he's actually able to ult back in and pick up the kill on Aurelia on a tiny bit of HP. Um, Gangplank getting caught out is killed by Tristana. Losing him uh, catching up a little bit here. <laughs> Blitzcrank with the, uh, the attempt at a flash hook on Ryze, not quite able to get it. Uh, I do think Blue Team is going to try and pick up. It looks like they're going to try and take Dragon here. Would be a nice little boost for them. Uh, they are 7k golds behind right now. Actually, Tristana opting instead to just go down to bot lane and farm. While, uh, while Janna clears away the wards. A little bit unfortunate there. I do feel they could have got that dragon if they had gone for it. Uh, or the mid turret if they had preferred. Anyway, the gangplank builds, which we were trying to focus on there, uh, has picked up the Hex Drinker, has built a Phage and a Zeal as well, seems to be building towards that Triforce, which is popular in this particular game. Um, a lot of people building Triforces, dealing tons of damage, I so, you know, did have to say that just once, I'm sorry about the reference. Uh, Nocturne has picked up a Hex Drinker and a Phage as well, uh, possibly, actually no, I wouldn't expect Nocturne to be building towards a Triforce, you don't see that on Nocturne very often, that's most likely going to be a Frozen Mallet. Um, and I'm not sure what he's going to pick up after that. Uh, presumably some kind of armor item to do with Gangplank, Aurelia, and Israel. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure what. Possibly an Atmos, although it has fallen off a little in favor recently. Uh, we see Israel and Gangplank going on Dragon here. Blue Team does seem to know about it, despite not having vision, so we do see the ping go down. They're going to take it out very quickly, and uh, yeah, secure that and a little bit extra gold for the team. Uh, 1,000 gold, not terribly significant at this point, but... I mean, any additional gold you can get is always nice, of course. <clears throat> uh, we see the Mystic Shot from Ezreal going up onto that red buff, and they... Yeah, because of that, uh, they do know that they're there. I think. Uh, Blitzer are going to pick up their kill on the red buff with the static field, and just time it's not able to get it. The, uh, the ult goes up from Gangplank. Not able to chase on to uh, Blitzer, and he does manage to actually dodge the, uh, the hook. The fear landing on Ezreal, despite his uh, shift, does flash. Vlad a good mystic shot onto Vlad. Uh, Nocturne able to pick up that kill on Gangplank. Does go straight back in, but could be in a lot of trouble right now. Is going to go down. Uh, Rise and Ezreal really in a position to deal a lot of damage right now. With a, uh, a good arcane shift, followed by uh, a good essence flex and mystic shot. Landing a lot of damage on Tristana. I think they are going to back away here, though. Uh, yeah, I think that was a 2 for 1 overall. Uh, in a 4v5 situation, unfortunately. Uh, Blue Team really just not not able to keep up with the damage output of Red Team, I think. Uh, Ryze is able to take out Blitzcrank there with, uh, with the good shields, just mitigating that damage from static kills. Uh, thanks to. Yeah, so, so nice play by Janna. And Ryze is, is actually just heading that point where he's quite right now. He does pick up that Rod of Ages. Um, and so we have seen that become a lot more popular recently. It basically puts Ryze's damage up to ridiculous levels. I mean, we know he always did a lot of damage, even when he built tanky. Uh, now with this Rod of Ages, he, he is very, very powerful. His spells hit very hard. See, uh, Aurelia going straight in. Does land the Equilibrium Strike straight onto Vlad. You can see Ignite off, and the Transcendent Blade's going off. She is going to try and pick up that kill. But actually, Nocturne coming in does deter her a little bit. Nahara going off onto Aurelia. Um, she is going to get away, I think, thanks to the slowing of from Jana, as well as the Howling Gale we see landing onto Nocturne. Um, is able to dodge the Dustbringer as well, which is very helpful. The Har actually going up onto Aurelia, I mean onto Jana this time. Uh, she gets knocked out. She 
flashes over the wall, doesn't quite get grabbed. It is going to try and juke away. Gets the raise morale from Gangplank, which is going to help out a lot. Uh, and Aurelia is going to back away as well, I think. Most likely they will get away safely here, although Gangplank is waiting, which I don't like as a play at all. Uh, Nocturne flashing over the wall to, uh, to Paranoia onto Janna. And then the rocket grab picking up the kill, actually. Uh, Rally gonna go in on Gangplank there. It's, it's gonna get a very favorable engage. And Israel and Rise and Gangplank able to pick up Nocturne between them. Um, Black getting a good Hemo Plague is forced to pull, and I think Aurelia's gonna be able to take him out there right as he gets up, and she does. Uh, Rise actually picking up the kill though. My apologies. I don't know. I think there must have been a, uh, a room prison there. Didn't make no travel time scene. Uh, Israel landing some good skill shots there, but not quite enough to pick Daydreaming off. Uh, he does get away. Not a lot, like quite a low kill battle for something that seemed quite intense. Uh, Nocturne and Blythe going down, and uh, Janna did go down from blue team. In the meantime, uh, for red team, I'm sorry. Uh, in the meantime, Tristana was able to take out the turret of bar lane. So that's kind of nice. Uh, they are trying to take out Baron here. Red team is trying to take out Baron. A good grip, actually, by, uh, by Blitzcrank, followed by the knockup in the static field, is able to pick up uh, Gangplank. Nunu kind of trying to go into CL, I think, with the consume, but is taken out by Rise. Wow, uh, what's kind of going in there, but does get Rune Prison, and Israel is putting on huge damage. I think wouldn't have had enough mana to do that except for Baron, but oh wow, we see the face check going out here. Nocturne getting a lot of damage onto, uh, onto Janna. Trisana, but at the same time, does jump in. Uh, Light actually able to pick up the kill. I think Israel's gonna go down here for sure. Does die to Tristana overall, uh, landing the Ignite onto Nocturne, but he's not gonna go down. Uh, Rise trading really well. Managed to, oh my god, actually picking up the kill on Wad there with the Ignite and the huge burst combo. Just wow. Uh, and that's that's the insane damage we see just coming out from a I mean what is now just a dead res right he's eleven and five uh, three assists has picked up the tier which he has not actually even nearly fully stacked like fifty percent fifty seven percent stack uh, he's got his rod of ages which is nope also not fully stacked uh yeah so I mean he's just gonna keep getting stronger even even without spending any mobile he's gonna get a lot stronger from that tier and that uh, rod building up. Did finish his Abyssal Scepter now, which uh, I like a lot as, as a mechanism of trading well with, uh, with Blitzkrank and with Rise. And of course there's a little bit of magic damage coming up from uh, from Nunu, from Trishana, and actually even from Nocturne Sphere. So I, I quite like that Abyssal Scepter, uh, as a buy in general. And of course the ability power much more potent now on Rise than it used to be, thanks to the uh, the buff on the coefficient of his Q, his Overlord. He has also picked up his special Shroud, and it's just going to be in quite a strong position right now. The True Shot Barrage going up there, not quite uh, stealing that blue buff. Nocturne did get it uh, overall. Aurelia kind of going in a bit here, yeah, I'm not so sure why. With the, uh, the blue buff down, there's not a lot to contest, and she is running into five members of Blue's team. I'm not sure if she knows that, though. i, I got to assume that she does. Um, we see the rocket grab missing onto Rise there, Rise countering with uh, a bit of damage onto onto Blue Team there with the spell flux and the Rune Prison. Red Team a little bit split up here, but they just still have two Baron buffs and uh, a couple of elixirs on, I believe. Suddenly Israel has a green elixir, I think actually that is the only one. You see, yeah, uh, Gangplank initiating here. Yeah, the ult does go off. Uh, Let's kind of almost taken, taken down, but. Uh, Gangplank is, is taken really low by, uh, by Nocturne as well, and Aurelia very, very low also. And Rise chasing, uh, Rise chasing onto um, Tristana does go down. Uh, Blitzcrank landing a grip of the wall and actually immediately dying because he was so low. Uh, and in the meantime, Gangplank actually did win the duel against Nocturne. So, I mean, it was, yeah, wow. Uh, actually, 3 to 0 there from Red Team. So I did miss a little bit of the action there. Um, Routine now just kind of shoving every lane, it seems. And suddenly they have big creep waves, especially, I mean, look at the number of purple cast minions there. That is just terrifying. Everybody knows how strong purple cast minions are. We see this uh, this top tower going down. I, yeah, they, uh, Jano and Israel actually may try and take this inhibitor by themselves, and that would not be a bad play, I feel. Um, Rise able to pick off that inner turret in mid, and Aurelia picking off the inner turret in top. Uh, getting three turrets there. So, not bad for them at all, and at the same time, Gangplank actually taking Dragon, picking up a, a, just a huge global gold lead, uh, which frankly they had already. So, they're sitting now with 7 turrets to Blue Team 1, uh, I think 3 dragons to 0. Uh, really looking like she's going to get away here. The Rocket Grab has missed, and the Rocket Jump too. 
Well, it's going to just flash away, and it's going to try to escape. But Tristana, not so lucky. Uh, does get room for us and just explodes. Aurelia dashing onto Vlad, but not quite able to pick up that kill. Does get rough grabbed in, and actually almost goes down to the turret. Not going to able to secure that kill. Um, does get caught out by uh, by Rise and Israel though. Yeah, I mean, Rise picking up a triple killer brawl with 15 kills now does so much damage. That's uh, that Rise just wow. Uh, yeah, Big Tail be doing a lot of work right now. Um, just showing off the the power of Rise, I think, and uh, sort of at the same time showing off the the weakness of Blitzcrank as an AP mid. Uh, he's not worthless, and suddenly he's still able to catch people in the same way that he can as a support. But his, his sustained damage, compared to Ryze, is just pathetic. Uh, we see the Flash Maroon is in there from GG, and is able to just pick up the kill. Uh, a little bit of damage from, uh, from Israel and the ults from Gangplank, a little unnecessary, but quite neat nonetheless. Just uh, making sure that kill happens. He wasn't aware of how hard Blitzkrank was going to die, I feel. Uh, doesn't have a good pilot on Munu there. Actually, knocked down ulting in, gets a fear off onto Israel, and is going to blow up most likely from the buster drop for Tristana. Um, Tristana now going to try and pick up this kill onto, uh, onto Gangplank, and is able to pick up a double. Uh, knocked in trying to chase onto Janna, but she does flash away over the wall, and I believe is going to escape. Um, yeah, uh, Red Team sticking around a little long there, with, uh, with Ryze and Aurelia not still in the base. And they did kind of get caught, and caught up. Uh, really potentially in a bit of trouble right now. Is getting slowed by this frozen L, and now is in a uh, 4v1 situation, but Rai is coming in, just getting ridiculous damage, blowing Vlad up, blowing, well, Aurelia actually picking up the kill on Nocturne, but uh, he, he is able to get out of the Absolute Zero as well. Uh, he's going to try and turn around and pick up this kill into Nudo and is successful. Uh, going to take a bit of damage from, uh, from Blitzcrank, and the, the, yeah, the static kill actually goes off, as well as the shot from Tristana is able to pick up that kill. Uh, Rai's not quite able to uh, to 5v1, apparently, which is a bit unfortunate for him. He has picked up his Archangels and his Frozen Heart now, just uh, hit the yeah, the 5 item mark. He's just so, so, so strong. Um, and I, I'll be interested to see what he gets to that last item uh, with quite a reasonable amount of AP. Uh, the old, old build would have been to go uh, Will of the Ancients. Sorry, just for this Spellman, uh, and that's still certainly very powerful. He does have 400 AP. A dead cat wouldn't wouldn't be too bad, I think. Um, the MR, fortunately, he has already covered, which uh, which is just emphasizing the smartness of his abyssal build, um, because of course Rise used to build Dengies now, but now with the new Rod of Ages build, he gets a lot more hit points, but not as much magic. Well, no magic resist from the Rod of Ages, so he is forced to build another item like uh, an abyssal, which I think is is a wonderful addition to the build. That. Um, yeah, is, is just able to to prevent that magic damage, making the tanky monster that he always is, while also adding a lot of damage. As we're forced to back and shift over the wall there, uh, wow, Tristana doing a lot of damage, takes out Janna almost instantly, and the rocket grab not quite landing onto Gangplank, but the Dustbringer, it does land, so the Raze Morale possibly not going to be enough. Uh, Paranoia going up onto Ezreal, though, does fla a fail flash, and uh, goes down to Nocturne. Uh, yeah, I mean, Blue Team doing a good job of, uh, of cleaning up the kind of uh, a bit messily placed members of Red Team. Unfortunately, they're not going to be able to go through Baron, and they are actually going to back off to get these inhibitor minions off their uh, off their mixes. I'm sorry, we're actually going to back up and watch that. Uh, we see, yeah. Well, so it looks like Gangplank's actually yeah going back in here after having escaped the team. Just get rocket grabbed and knocked out, and Tristana just going to rocket jump in and pick up that kill with a couple of shots. Uh, Tristana deciding, I mean, Aurelia deciding that probably she doesn't want to try and fight Tristana. Um, Tristana really has hit her, her kind of critical point here. Though she doesn't have a Last Whisper, she does have an Infinity Edge, a Phantom Arts, another BF Sword, uh, as well as that Vamp Sifter, just for that, uh, the, uh, the lifestyle that she sold her needs. And, I mean, she's dealing a huge amount of damage right now. I think the, uh, the Green Elix is certainly a very good decision as well. Uh, Ryze and Aurelia just deciding to go for Baron by themselves here, and, uh, I think... Blue team falling into the classic trap of not having a lot of vision up uh, when they're this behind. Uh, they do get the Baron, unfortunately. Rishin does get the Baron, and is going to be able to catch Nocturne here, get the Equilibrium Strike and the Wind Prison. And uh, Rice is going to pick up that kill. He's now getting a huge amount of damage onto Vlad, he's in a lot of trouble. Uh, so we'll see whether Tristana can clean up this team fight though. 
Really dashing over the wall, isn't able to get the kill onto Vlad, but uh, the absolute zero from Nuna was pretty good, and Tristana is able to kite properly and take out Ryze. Uh, a bit, bit of a gritty play there by Irelia and Ryze, I think, not paying up, and Tristana is doing a really good job of just kiting Ryze whenever he, yeah, whenever he has to. Nuna flashing over the wall there to get the exhaust onto Israel. It does actually, yeah, uh, Blitzkrieg actually gripping Israel. Tristana forced to flash away, but uh, yeah, Blitz does pick up that kill on Israel. Does it? Uh, Blood splashing over the wall, getting the knockout onto Janna, followed by the static kill. Wow, um... Yeah, Gangplank though, coming out, picking up the kill on Nunu, not quite able to follow up with Rosanna. And, uh, yeah, a good grab from Blitzcrank. It enables him to secure that kill. I mean, that, uh, that Baron buff not lasting long for Red Team at all. Um, I'm sorry about the, the chat's getting a little spammed, yeah. I'm not saying it's not hilarious, but it's not really relevant to our analysis of the game. So I'm just gonna close it down. I really should have had a close from this time. Um, but yeah, the Baron buff for Red Team, I mean, all five of them just straight up died immediately afterwards. Uh, they picked up a single kill for it? No, two kills. They got Vlad, they got Nunu. Uh, they did actually get Nocturne as well, so uh, it was a 3 for 5. But uh, considering how ahead they were, it's not great. And you have to admit, it's just like really messy engages here from, from Red Team. Uh, going in, well, possibly thinking that they're so far in the lead that, uh, that nothing can go wrong. And maybe they're right, but... Uh, but if they keep losing teamfights, you know, Blue Team could potentially turn this round. Uh, I don't see it being terribly likely with them having only taken on a single turret. Uh, this bottom out of the turret, yeah. But, um, yeah, I mean, you have to be careful, even when you're this far ahead, not to, uh, not to throw games. Trusan actually getting caught here, speaking of throwing. But uh, I was able to rocket jump away. <clears throat> Red Team actually roaming as a group now, which I like. Uh, Gangplank not there, but oh, actually. Nocturne's recoil getting cancelled is supposed to flash, but I think probably will be safe after that. Helen Gale going harmlessly off through the wall, doing not much. Uh, we see the rock grab from Blitzcrank gets really good, but uh, Jonah actually flashing back over the wall very quickly it does take out that ward in the end. Uh, the ward baits into rocket grabs from Blitzcrank are always always good to see. <clears throat> So we see Red Team really just trying to press their advantage now, um, which is very smart. I, I, I kind of wish they'd done this when they had their own Ned is going to try and slowly go in and pick up these inhibitors. Janna a bit out of position, and possibly not ideal for this team fight, but the damage from Ryze and the damage from uh, Israel and Aurelia even uh, are still very, very high. So Blue Team has to be very careful about how they approach this. Uh, the last couple team fights, I think, basically. Uh, West Rest has just gotten completely exploded and not uh, not been able to be terribly effective. What's going not actually landing the uh, hook there? I mean, yeah, he's, he's basically just doing the uh, the wide hooks that, that people tend to do when they're almost committing. The room doesn't go up onto Blitzcrank there. He does get caught and it is going to go down to the Trusha Barrage from Israel. Uh, Nocturne is in Paranoia and Bane Hope is getting away, but does explode to, uh, to Aurelia actually. And that's. Wow, uh, that, that's maybe just GG there. Yeah, there's the room present under Nuno. That's going to be game for sure. Uh, Tristana going down to Israel as well, uh, and Vlad getting room present just outside the fountain range, doesn't quite go down. Uh, is just able to escape a little bit. All of Rissium quite low, but, uh, I don't think... I don't think Vlad can do too much about it. Uh, GG actually tanking that turret there, the Eye of the Storm, helping him out a little. Uh, now just going to push down this Nexus turret, and go for the win here. <laughs> Gangplank actually flashing over the Nexus to, to get a bit of hurt onto... Uh, Vlad, not very helpful there, I think, but yeah, Rizzi are able to close on that game. Uh, an excellent team fight there in the end with, uh, with Blitzcrank, unfortunately, getting caught in a room prison while Tristana wasn't really in position to do an awful lot of damage. Uh, it does secure the win for Red Team. Not terribly surprising, I think. They have been in the lead for a long time, uh, having only lost one turret and picked up all of the turrets, <laughs> except one Nexus turret, uh, for, for the most of the game. Uh, you know, having taken three dragons to uh, to blue team zero, I believe, and yeah, two barons as well, uh, four dragons even because Gangplank picked up that one solo. Uh, I think that was all. Let's uh, let's take a brief look at the builds before we before we cut out here. Um, so first of all, we do see quite a few Trinity forces in this game, which I like to see because that's not not that common, I guess. Um, so we see one on one on Israel, which is fairly standard. He rushed for that very quickly and was able to do a fair bit of damage throughout the entire game, I think. 
Uh, I like his builds of getting that Bloodthirster as well as the Trinity Claws. A lot of visuals do that. And then go into Last Whisper um, to stop the armor really shutting his damage down. And then got a QSS, uh, which, yeah, all just very, very smart. Uh, unfortunately, QSS not as useful as he wants against this team, right? Uh, it's fine against, against Vlad Ultimate. We'll start be taking that extra damage. Uh, it can stop Nocturne Fear, which is nice as well, or potentially Snowball from Nunu, which can uh, can otherwise be fatal. So it's not not a worthless QSS here at all. Uh, of course, it's not going to stop. Well, it's not stopping hard disables. Uh, and the main problem, I think, for uh, for Rizzo here, well, the main danger for him here, which was of course the Blitzcrank Cooks. Uh, yeah, you can't you can't deal with those. You can't milk those. We see Aurelia picking up uh, Triforce into Wit's End. Uh, both both very solid items on Aurelia. We see those, well, I mean, you know, the gold standard of Aurelia play, which is Wicked, uh, he picks up both those items quite often. Uh, both very solid. Um, but he just... Okay, I... Um, he has picked up a Thornmail as well, which is smart, I think, just because Tristana was doing a huge amount of work towards the end. And uh, having an Aegis on your team, which she has picked up as well, I think is, is always always good purchase. Uh, nice for Aurelia to pick that up and not force Gangplank to. Who, well, okay, let's do Gangplank's build because this is fruity as hell. Um, had picked up uh, the Trinity Claws and the, the Hex Trinket, we saw that. Decided to then, after that, build into a Phantom Dancer and another Zeal, which is kind of just like a, a weird version of, uh, of Crit Plank, I guess. I mean, he didn't get the Infinity Edge, so there's not really. Uh, got a lot of movement speed. Uh, I suspect this was just kind of a troll build, because his team was so far ahead. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess you sh shouldn't say too much about that, really. Uh, we just saw a rise. We've talked about most of his build already. Uh, the Giants belt for the last purchase I find quite interesting, um, and I like the additional survivability that it gives him. I would have been uh, quite interested to know what he was going for with that. Could easily just have been a Warmox? Uh, he probably wouldn't have got stacked having purchased that late in the game, but the huge amount of additional HP that it gives him would have been really nice. Rylai's also could have been fine there, I think. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I like Gigi's idea of, well, of course it's not, not completely original, but uh, the idea of, uh, of building that much HP on Rylai's is actually really strong now, and we saw the whole game, his damage was ridiculously high, um, and he was quite tanky as well. Uh, he, as soon as he had his, his tier and his Rod of Ages, even before they were fully stacked, he was dealing a phenomenal amount of damage. Um, and he was able to to convert that into a couple of kills really early, pick up the Frozen Heart and the Abyssal Scepter, and from there just be tanky the whole game. Uh, and I think that works very, very well. And I would like to see several more Rises. I would like to see Rises build like that more often. Um, and that is, I mean, I think that is how a lot of Rises build these days, but I haven't seen that much Rise in pro play, which is so weird to me because I don't feel like the changes to Humble Nurse. He's just, uh, he has seen a lot of this play. Some people, though, are still playing him. Um, paradoxical, I think we saw Scarra play him a little, and of course we see GG here playing him. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I would just like to see see more major teams playing Rise and building in this way because I think it's very, very strong. Time will tell whether whether that is actually the case. Uh, Tristana, again, very, very solid, very standard builds. Uh, I, I believe I went over this in the game, but if, if I didn't, uh, she got you know the Infinity Edge and the Phantom Monster and the Last Whisper all like core right. If you're Tristana, you build those three items straight away. And that's when you are just phenomenally strong. Once you've got that, you're just dealing huge, huge damage. Um, it was not actually quiet what happened here. He didn't pick up that last whisper until a little bit further on, which sort of surprises me, although only Rise and Aurelia really had a decent amount of armor, so maybe not a big deal. Uh, did pick up that Blood Thister as well, which is, of course, going to be a fourth item. And his last, I would have expected to be some kind of MR, probably a QSS to get him out of potential Rune Prisons, uh, Equilibrium Strikes, yeah, I mean, those two, basically. Uh, also, this lower by can be kind of helpful, but you probably don't want to kill assist that unless you really have to. Um, yeah, so Daydreamin, we still have pick up the Frozen Heart, uh, the Negatron, and the Trinity Force. Uh, was dealing a little bit of damage thanks to the Trinity Force, but ultimately, I mean, you know, we saw why AP Blitz wasn't played in that game. Uh, he did quite well, he landed a lot of really good grabs, but he's just not able to output the damage. Uh, and although he was able to late game really convert into quite a few kills for Tristana, 
um, and get your sana really strong, I think, I mean, there's so many minutes that could have done it better, right? Um, and I think Deidre knows that. Right? He's just kind of having fun. And he really likes Bloodscrank, so <laughs> you can't blame him for playing Bloodscrank. Uh, we've seen Octane. After the prison, not, uh, do you convert a take strength to more Malmortius? And um, I think that's how it's pronounced. Fantastic. And did pick up the Chain Burst as well, uh, as, well as well as his Ninja Tabby. So his, he was very, very tanky, uh, putting out a reasonable amount of damage thanks to the more and the Frozen Knot and the two Dorans, but uh, I like that build. I like it a lot. Uh, and we saw Nocturne do pretty well. Uh, he chased some people pretty effectively thanks to that Frozen Knot. Uh, he paranoid pretty well a couple of times. I think probably um, it's become more, more common recently to run Exhaust rather than Flash on Nocturne, just to give really strong ganks. Certainly, uh, I will dominate. I saw doing that in the game just recently. And he's done, I think he's been doing it for a while. Uh, yeah, I would like to see that. He, um, yeah, I, I don't think it, it's terribly important, and I don't think it would have changed the outcome of the game, but it would perhaps have made his ganks a little bit stronger. Now, uh, we see West Rest and Vlad take off of that Rylize, as well as the um, the Revolver and the Death Cat, and a bit of armor. I mean, I yeah, I, I don't think it's a bad build. Um, I don't think he was able to do too much. I think Aurelia did really well against him in lane, uh, with rushing at what seemed was really smart. And I think Gangplank helped shut him down a little bit in the other game. I did actually see the first... No, I think I did see the first on lane on that. Uh, yeah, I mean, really just doing really well. Uh, with a couple of, like, dives, like a really good Gangplank helps uh, shut him down a bit. And certainly, Every time he tried to try to toe to rise at all, he just got destroyed. Yeah. And I guess that's because you know he ended up having no magic resist. Uh, the Rylai is not doing too much for him either. I feel, although I mean, I'm just hating on Rylai, but I don't know why. Um, I, I think it was a fine build. The survivability for him there quite nice, right? He, the the Rylai and the armor certainly saving him a lot from uh, from the damage from Aurelia, from Gangplank, from Ezreal. Uh, of course, the, the pitfall there is that Ryze was doing so much damage because he had all that, that armor and no MR. Uh, I don't mind. I don't mind the build. I don't think that was at fault of him for a few play slip ups, and I think ultimately he just fell behind and was in a bad position. Uh, with no no, we see him go to Senate support builds, picked up triple GP10, and um, picked up Shirelles. Actually, would not have picked up the uh, the Cage's Lucky Pick when he was behind. Um, and so people. I've, I've tried to explain this before, and some people get weirded out by it. I think when you're ahead, like if you can pick up a couple of kills or assists early or something as a support, to get an extra GP10 early is very, very nice. But uh, if you're behind, quite often it's much more important for you to get the, the items with, with useful effects, right? To try and, and give you a little bit of an edge in a teamfight, uh, rather than to, to go for that Cage's Lucky Pick as a third GB item. He also went for CDI words. I don't see that very often on Nunu. Uh, I don't mind it, but it seems fine. Just a lot of Blood Boils, a lot of uh, Ice Blasts coming out. And uh, he had some good episodes here, as I can never say he played well. Okay, I think I've covered just about everything. Uh, certainly... Yep, I think it's... I mean, we'll go over Janna as well, just because uh, we can. Uh, Janna, who was ahead, built triple GP10, and I, I love that. Uh, I'm not, not going to complain about it at all. I like the Abbots and Janna, as well as the uh, Shirelias, giving her 30% before Masteries. Uh, so quite possibly putting, pushing her up to like 36% with Masteries, which is very close to Cat, and, and really nice because... Uh, God, I don't know, I'm not going this time. Because um, Janna's abilities are all very, very strong. Having that extra CDR for them is, is amazing, being able to spam them that much more often. She does have a Needle Rod as well. I'm going to assume that's a troll item and should not really be considered uh, because I don't think anyone goes items with ninja large rods and non supports. <laughs> Basically, um, yeah, it would be interesting to see what he would pick up there after after that Charles. Uh Could easily just be like a locket or something. Uh, most likely not going to pick up an Angus because of course it really has already done that. Uh, Azix also would be very strong for this team, uh, thanks to the contribution that it would get to Israel to Aurelia and to Gangplank. Certainly very, very strong. Okay, we're going to call it there. Uh, thank you for watching, and I... Uh, yeah, look out for more videos in the near future. Uh, I'm not sure if I went over this in this video, but I have ordered a new microphone. So I'm sorry for having to, to sit through the, uh, the echoey and bad sound quality of my, uh, my webcam's microphone. It's not, not ideal, I know. 
Um, and I, I've ordered that already, but it's unfortunately not going to be here for two to three weeks. And I'm going to be putting out videos in the meantime, just because I, I really need to practice, right? I need to, need to keep working on uh, what I can do. So, uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to suffer through through the, the bay wig, and hopefully it doesn't ruin the videos for anyone. Uh, yeah, again, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.